scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time covering the new Doctor Who book, The Scientific Secrets of Doctor Who. Recently, in a Verity podcast, they did a defending scientific ideas in Doctor Who, which is all very nice and pleasant. And yes, it basically comes down to it was needed for the plot to develop. No one at all could defend the science of Kill the Moon. How the moon was replaced by mass of its own size with exactly the same craters. How a very small atomic device was meant to destroy the moon and what would have happened if they did it anyway. All of those things were spurious at best, proving that Doctor Who, at best, takes place in a parallel universe where such scientific matters don't matter. So anything that takes the science of Doctor Who and tries to make it legitimate, well, that's going to be a tough call for anyone. Simon Gruyere and Dr. Marek Kula, and I'm probably saying that incorrectly, have produced The Scientific Secrets of Doctor Who, a book that in its first chapter says you will not find anything on building your own robot dog, but you will find a section on growing your own potatoes. This does not bode well, especially considering I always wanted my own robot dog. So how does this book work? Yes, there are sections commenting on exactly how many planets there are in the Doctor Who universe in our solar system. I believe 14 at the last count. So let's work out what this book is actually going for by reading the blurb. The Scientific Secrets of Doctor Who is a mind-bending blend of story and science that will help you see Doctor Who in a whole new light, weaving together a series of all-new adventures featuring every incarnation of the Doctor with commentary that explores the possibilities of time travel, life on other planets, artificial intelligence, parallel universes and more. Simon Gruyere and Dr. Marek show how Doctor Who uses science to inform its unique style of storytelling and just how close it has often come to predicting the future scientific discoveries. This book is your chance to be the Doctor's companion and explore what's out there. It will make you laugh and think and see the world around you differently. So basically, it's a collection of short stories linked together with scientific argument. And as such, it succeeds on both levels. Yes, you can have really nice multi-doctor stories from remarkably good authors. Mark Wright, George Mann, James Goss, Jonathan Morris, Jenny T. Colgan, James Swallow, a friend of the show, L.M. Miles, Una McCormack, Justin Richards, Jacqueline Rayner, Mark Platt, Mark Morris, Andrew Cartmel, David Llewellyn, and of course, Andrew Smith. These are great authors, all brought together, and they're not mentioned even once on the cover. You've got brilliant short stories surrounded by some fantastic science. I, for one, didn't think this would work. I, for one, thought it would just be some sort of apologetic list of science that was wrong. Just like Kill the Moon. But of course it wasn't. It's got style, it's got finesse, and it's got some cracking short stories. So yeah, perhaps it's not the first thing that you'll grab this summer, but also perhaps it's something you should really consider. Especially if you're the sort of Doctor Who fan who doesn't just watch it for the romance. No. If you're old school, this is the place to be. So yet again, something else I can heartily agree. And I'll leave you with that. So until next time, where I'll either be talking about Doctor Who or Blake Seven. Be seeing you. On the 5th of September 2015, Hooverville will return. The biggest little Doctor Who convention in the whole of the UK is proud to present several fantastic guests. First off is the Colin Baker, 
a man who needs absolutely no introduction. Guests also include the author Jenny Colgan, responsible for Dark Horizons and Time Trips, Richard Marson, the man behind GNT, The Life and Scandalous Times, and the brand new book Drama and Delight, the biography of Verity Lambert, Dan Starkey, the man behind the mask when it comes to Commander Strax, and of course Ian the Elf in the Christmas special, Terence Dix, one of the men behind The Third Doctor, and more target novelizations than you can shake a stick at. The actor David Benson, from Robot of Sherwood, Iris Wildheim, and the Scarifiers. Matthew Waterhouse, yes, Adrake. Michael Pickwood, the current production manager on Doctor Who. And Karen Louise Hollis, author of The Man Behind the Master, the biography of Anthony Inley. More guests may be added, but either way, that's a fantastic lineup. Visit the Derby Quad website on www darbyquad.co.uk and follow the links. Saturday the 5th of September 2015. See you there. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.